Hi everyone, this is the weaving project that I'm working on today. This is a pattern called Southwest Diamondback by Jenny Poling. She did this in 2017. She originally did it in these Southwest colors. If you like this, this is white and spice. Uh, today I'm gonna be doing black and ochre. I always tell you, make whatever colors you like. All you need is, well, I was gonna say all you need is two colors. You can try more if you want, but Today I'm doing black and ochre, which looks like black and gold. I'm working on a vintage 19 by 19 loom today. Friendly Loom has started to sell these looms. If you want a 19 by 19 loom, you can get one. But if you have an 18 by 18 loom, don't worry. You can add a loop easily by getting a couple of these headband things. Put the headband over like this, Pull it under like this, turn it around, put it over, pull it under, and then you get a knot at both sides, and you can add a loop. So if you need 18, excuse me, if you have an 18 by 18 and you want to add one loop, you can do that, no problem. You don't have to buy a new loom. Uh, I got rubber bands on here because uh, for some reason these guys have been jumping up. So I thought, well, I'm going to put some rubber bands on here to keep them controlled. Uh, let's see, what else do I want to tell you? Uh, we are working with legs today, not loops. Or Here we go. So here's one black loop. It has two legs. We are going to be splitting loops today, so you need to know about the legs versus the loops. Again, let's see, we're doing 19 black and 19 ochre. And you can see when you use black with ochre, it looks like black and gold. Again, this is the original one in white and spice. Southwest Diamondback, Jenny Poling. Very nice design. All right, so you're gonna string the warp all black. And going up the weft is going to be all the ochre. So we're going to start at the bottom right corner, going over two legs, under two legs, all the way across. So that's over two legs, under two legs, all the way across. I am weaving with a short knitting needle that goes with this traditional size loom. And I am pulling through with this ergonomically made hook that I got from Etsy, if you wanna know. Okay. Row two, again, this is going up the warp, all ochre. Row two is gonna be over one leg, over one leg, under two legs. Then we're gonna do five over two under fours. One, and you might have to get your fingers in here <laughs> to keep track. <laughs> one, Two, three, four, five, ending on over two, under two, over one. Okay, so over one leg, under two, and then we're gonna do five over two under fours. One, two, three, four, five, and then ending on over two, under two, over one. And I just wanna say that um, this is all black. I am I have my bright lights on so I can try and see, but if you need to put your fingers in there to try and see where you are, no problem, because it's hard to see the loops when they are all one color, especially black. Okay, <clears throat> row three is gonna be under two, over two, all the way across.
under two legs, over two legs. This is a really fun one to do. If, if you just bought the new 19 by 19 loom, this is a fun one to do. And even if you didn't buy the new loom and you have a traditional 18 by 18, you can add a loop the way I showed you or you could put two loops on one peg. Either way, you can do this, no problem at all. Row four is gonna be starting on under one leg, over two legs. Under one, over two legs. And then we're gonna do five under two over fours. One, two, three, Ending on under two, over two, under one. So again, <clears throat> under one leg, over two, and then five under two over fours. One, two, three, four, five. Ending on under two, over two, under one. Okay, row five. First, we're gonna pack these guys down. Pack, pack, pack. Okay, row five is going to be over two legs, under two, all the way across. down. Okay. Row six is going to be under one leg, over two, under two, over four, and then under two, over two, under two, over two, under four, over two, under two, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, ending on under one to repeat, under one, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, under two, over two, under four, over two, under two, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, under one. Okay. 
it's really uh, ochre and black are very elegant together. It's a cool thing to know. All right, next row, row seven is going to be under two, over two, all the way across. fun to try this with different colors. You know, knock yourself out. It's a cute little guy. Uh, row eight is going to be over one, under two, over two, under four legs, over two, under two, over two, under two, over four legs, under two, over two, under two, over two, under four, over two, under two, over one. Over two, under two, all the way across. Over two, under two. Row 10 is going to be under 1, over 2, under 2, over 4 legs, under 2, over 2, under 2, over 2, under 4, over 2, under 2, over 2, under 2, over four legs, under two, over two, ending on under one. Okay, so under one, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, under two, over two, under four, over two, under two, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, under one. for the you-know-what, straightening of the rows. Well, let's see, I can maybe do it with my fingers today, let's see. Mm 
I straighten the rows because it looks good and because you need the room at the top. Oh, that guy's got to go back down. Let me see here. See how far off that is? See how it's arcing like that? You don't want that. At least you don't want it that extreme. You know, you might not get it exactly perfect, but you don't want it going crazy like that. All right. All right. We're on row 11. Row 11 is gonna be over two, under two, all the way across. is next. I might switch over to my safety pin because it's getting a little bit tight. Some people use um, hair clips, whatever. Whatever you like. four, over two, under two, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, under two, over two, under four, over two, under two, over one. Pack, pack. All right, the next row, I think it's 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah. 13 is going to be under 2, over 2, all the way across. It's so elegant, you know? I mean, look, you guys. Even if you used it as a mug rug for your coffee, elegance, elegance. Row 14 is going to be under one over two, under one leg. Over two, 
And we're gonna do under two. Over four, under two, over two, under two, over two, under four, over two, under two, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two under one. Okay. So to repeat, under one over two, under two over four, under two over two, under two over two, under four, over two, under two, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, under one. Pack these guys down. Row 15 is going to be over two, under two. Okay, row 16, first we will pack this down a little bit, this guy seems to be a, sometimes these loops stretch, like they're huge, huge loops, okay. Row 16 is going to be under one. over two, and we're going to do five under two over fours. One, two, three, four, One, two, three, four, five. Over four. Okay, then we're going to end on under two, over two, under one. You see that diamond in there? And these little diamonds? Pretty cool. Let's repeat that one. Under one leg, over two, and then we do five under two over fours. One, two, three, four. Ah, you see that mistake there? Mm-mm-mm. C, 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 under two, over four, under two, over four, ending on under two, over two, under one. I was telling myself what to do, but I wasn't doing it. I was not following my own instructions. I was insubordinate to myself. <laughs> All right. See, that's why it's good to go over it because you catch things. Under one, over two, and then five under two over fours. One, two, 
three, four, five, ending on under two, over two, under one. That's another good reason, especially when you're working with um, intricate things to go over it again. Okay, row 17 is going to be under two, over two, all the way across. Jenny Poling is a great designer. She did a lot of wonderful designs on the small loom. So this is the first one that I filmed. Pretty cool. Thank you, Jenny, for giving me permission. Okay, that goes here. What did I say that was? Uh, under two, over two, all the way across. Just make sure it's all twos. Okay, 18. Of course, we're going to pack these down. Okay, row 18 is going to be under one leg. Sorry, you guys. Over one leg. <laughs> Over one leg. And then under two legs. And then we're going to do five over two under fours. One. Two. Ending on over two, under two, over one. I'm going to go over that one more time. Over one leg, under two, five, over two, under fours. One, two, three, four, five. Over two, under two, over one. And the last one is just going to be over two, under two, all the way across. All the way across. I've seen people buying the new looms from Friendly Loom, and I see them saying, what can I do with that? Well, you can do this. 19 by 19. Whoop. That's what 
I have these rubber bands on here. Do some row straightening. Push these guys down. Okay, look at that, that's so pretty. Mm -mm -mm. All right, I'm gonna start taking it off from the top here. I'll leave these rubber bands on a little bit here. Lift this up, pull this one through. Keep Just keep on doing that, pull the next one through. I'm going to put the first one on as an anchor. See, I don't trust these guys. <laughs> I don't trust them to stay put. Some people use um, binder clips to uh, anchor these patterns. You guys can do that if you want. Looks like I have a fly interested in my weaving today. <laughs> Can't be that interesting because it's not going to taste like anything. All right.
little bit tight. I'm gonna need this rubber band here. Don't hesitate to use a rubber band if it helps you keep things on the pegs. No big deal at all. I like to use my first anchor as my loop to hang a ring on or just as the loop that you use to hang or you could weave it into the back, whatever. Take these guys off here. Put them back where they go. Cut the thread. And there you have it, you guys. Like I said, you can put a ring on here. You can weave it into the back. It's so cute. Oh my God, you guys, so cute. Now I have two. So, so cute. I hope you guys try it. Have a great day.